Hey. <laughs> so all of y'all that love the snow, man, this is for y'all. So, hold on, I gotta see the, the full picture, the full image of what I have to deal with right now, okay? Look at my baby. Now, this may not seem like a lot, okay? It's, it's not that much, to be honest. But, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> and and I gotta show y'all this shit too, right here. So I bought this shit <laughs> to cover... Uh, you see, you see the point. I bought this shit to cover this the, the windshield. I think I did a good job, don't you? <laughs> but nah, this shit, uh... This shit could take me like a good hour to finish. I'm not even gonna lie. It, 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 it might take me a good hour just to dig this shit out. Because I gotta dig out... Because this car is front wheel drive. So I most definitely gotta dig out the front. As much out of front as I can. Dig out all of this shit on the side. And I gotta dig out some of the shit on the back. Wish me luck, y'all. <laughs> Seriously. A few moments later. Okay. <laughs> this is the finished product, okay? This is like 30 to 40 minutes I have to take to do this. I know it's not 100%, but this will be enough to get me out in the morning. I'm not going to the gym. This is two days in a row I'm not going to the gym because of this bullshit. So it snowed kind of heavy yesterday. They said it was a nor'easter in the east coast, you know. This for all y'all that love snow, man. This is the shit we got to deal with over here. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, we done. I'm done, man. I got to record a video. So, you know, book me for your shoveling services, your shoveling needs. I charge, you know, just a measly 100 an hour. So, you know. <laughs> uh, now, now let's speak facts. facts. <laughs> Hello. Everyone, <laughs> how y'all doing out there? I hope you're doing good. You know, just staying safe and just staying alive. So I'm here. You know, I just had to shovel all that all that snow. I was gonna say something else, but I had to shovel all that snow. That's one of the very annoying things about living in you know in New York and having to deal with snow. But you know, I'm grateful. That was a little bit of exercise. Okay, so. I just wanted to say this, just this real, this thing real quick, cause I realized um, <laughs> ever since okay, so ever since I started taking YouTube more serious, like as in like I okay, ever since I started to make YouTube an official hobby that I would do after work or when I'm not at work, from the start to now. I realized like a lot of those other small YouTubers out there who, you know, I would send my videos and, you know, they'll send mine and we'd support each other that way. You know, they, they're not there no more, man. <laughs> they're not there anymore. And I just like, man, they don't, they don't like my videos no more, nothing. Like, nah, it's not that. They just stop uploading. So that's just one little quick thing I wanted to say. Don't quit, man. <laughs> don't quit. This shit is a long grind. It's a long strenuous journey but that shit is gonna be worth it in the back end and i'm not even gonna lie to you i'm gonna i'm gonna do one of those um tips and tricks videos eventually i'm not gonna lie because yesterday just yesterday okay i was in my bathroom monologuing <laughs> and in the damn in the in the mirror just mono monologuing to myself you know when you become successful on this shit and the tips and tricks that you're gonna give to the up and coming youtubers okay now, the topic today, okay, it's, it's a doozy, <laughs> it's a doozy, okay, uh, the topic today is women proposing to men, okay, so I already know, for, I, I could probably say maybe like 90% of the chance, or 90% of the time, women, they're not, they're not going for that shit, they're not going for getting down on one knee and proposing to a man, okay, and I could already, I already pretty much know most of the people, <laughs> those are the women who's gonna watch this video, or who's, who watches my channel. Unless they're, okay. The Gen Z women, they, they might, okay, they might. But anything, you know, the traditional older women, they're not going for that shit. They, they're not. That's one of the, this is one of those things where it's like, um, this is one of those things where it's like, 
the social norm is changing you know the those that general is just a little bit shifting just a, a a tiny bit of a shift happening but this is one of those things where i feel like it's never gonna completely change and let me just tell you why I, why i'm bringing up this topic here's the here's the video hey yes sir if uh congratulations there you go give your wife a kiss man where the kiss at sheesh let's go my Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna say is this, right? I, okay, from the outside looking in, of course, I feel like this is definitely a loveless relationship because just watching that shit, in my, in my mind, I'm like, there's no way in hell you telling me we just proposed and someone else had to tell you, you two to kiss. No, <laughs> that, that's a red flag right there. So, after I came to the conclusion that this most likely is a loveless relationship, I thought to myself, she might have been desperate. Because this, honestly, this or this is almost like some desperate type of shit for a woman to do. I, I, and I really feel that way. This this is me, you know, my traditional way, you know, my conservative type of way. Because I honestly feel like... Okay, I'm, I'm, gonna get, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. But to be honest, this seems like some loveless ass relationship. He probably was like embarrassed, like, oh my God, what is she doing? <laughs> like, like, why is she doing this? <laughs> but the main reason why I say that is because there's no way we just proposed, we're engaged now, and someone else had to tell you to the kiss. And it was a, it was a, a, a it was a, a friend type of kiss, you know? Like, that's not no, that's not no, we just engaged type of kiss. I'm sorry. That's not, that, that was almost cringy. I'm not even going to friend. I was almost cringy. No. Nah. So, the <laughs> yeah. So, what I wanted to say is that I do feel like there is just a little bit of a shift in this because, like, five to ten years ago, I don't think I've seen any women proposing to men, like none at all. And you could you could um, correct me if I'm wrong, but honestly speaking, I haven't seen, or I feel like I have not seen any of these type of videos before. Now, I saw one that went kind of viral last year. And oh my God. Oh. <laughs> and then this one, so it's like, this is becoming, I keep, okay, this is becoming more visible <laughs> let me not say that let me say that because they're not becoming more accepting you know them women out there they'll always stick to that the man should be proposing to the to the woman and there's some men out there who would stick to okay i gotta propose to my women but it's becoming more visible you know what i'm saying like i said five to ten years ago i didn't see any of these type of videos on social media like none most of the people in the comment section on this video who's like disagreeing with it like oh like the, the people that's disagreeing with what's going on <laughs> the people that's saying that uh they don't understand what's going on or this shouldn't be happening is women and of course it is that just makes sense it's that traditional shit bro that that those social norms and social um gender roles that you know we would think is changing or shifting there's just some that will just never be fully accepted and there's just some that would just never be right socially okay socially it would just never be right never <laughs> never be right there's other there's other ones that's changing you know of course but one like this i feel like i feel like it would never be socially acceptable for the women to work with them never of course there's gonna be the outliers it's gonna be those that you know let me not even say desperate, but there's gonna be those outliers out there of women who don't care. Like, man, fuck, I'll take the man's role in this in this situation and I'll propose to my man. Okay, oh, I mean, okay. <laughs> my God. Because <laughs> I, I was about to say okay, and of course, that's why that, that word got messed up right there. But yeah, you know, there's some women who's gonna take that role, okay? <clears throat> but I find it interesting though, you know, that feminists out there, those women who want to be equal to men or who say that men and women should be equal or something like that i find it funny that 
they don't agree with this gen this social norm changing or the gender role team um changing i find that funny don't don't you like they they want men and women to be equal okay propose to me then if you want us to be equal you go and propose to me then uh you go with your girls and go ring shopping and you propose to me you get down on one knee and crease your jordans <laughs> and you crease your jordans and you propose to me we should be equal right and that's some funny shit man that's some funny shit they they love those gender roles that benefit them that's them them social norms that is like the man has to has to do that and i'm gonna do that they love that shit though but like i said this one this one thing right here i don't i don't ever see it completely shifting of course there's always gonna be those outliers but i don't ever see it like completely shifting to where it would be socially normal socially accepted for the woman to propose because like i said just look in the comment section look at the look in the damn comment section okay and it comes a point where it's like it comes to a point where it's like um you know your parents you're gonna raise your daughters to be like uh the man has should be proposing to you i know i will and this is just a little personal thing okay i, I usually try to not insert my personal shit but <laughs> you know um me personally i would feel a little weird if a woman proposed to me i would and it's just that traditional shit because in that regard and then in that aspect right if she's proposing to me she's on one knee in that moment she's taking the man's role and i'm taking the woman's role and there's another thing that was pointed out in that in that video they said he looked a little um zesty i gotta use that word i don't know if the you know the, the g word is gonna get demonetized or whatever but he they say he looked a little zesty on um, the way he put out his his hand for the for the for the ring so you see how <laughs> switching the role a little bit could 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 mess things up and that's what i'm saying like and that re and and another thing because i did a little i had to look this up a little bit um if you look on Google Images, right, and you you um you type in uh, women proposing to men, damn near all the pictures with the men, the men look like like took on a woman's role in that moment, and that's another reason why this this traditional gender role type of thing will never completely change. No man or most men don't want to feel that. Like it's emascul it's almost emascul em oh, it's almost emasculating. Like, why are you proposing to me? I'm supposed to do that. If we're gonna get married or we're gonna get engaged or whatever the case is, it's gonna be on me. It's my decision. It's always gonna be that little caveat there, you know, with some men gonna accept that traditional role, like, okay, I gotta be the one to propose to her. And some, most women is gonna be like, okay, if he don't propose to me, we're not getting married then, fuck it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? It's always gonna be that, it's always gonna be that. Now, I'll say this, right? <clears throat> Just to end off the video. I personally don't have a problem seeing it happen, but me personally, if I was to ever get married or ever get engaged, I don't see that happening, but you never know. I'm gonna be the one to propose to her, not the other way around, cause I, I don't wanna feel, emasculated by why is this girl proposing to me get up get up <laughs> you know that type of shit let me know what y'all think man men men out there men out there men out there would you be okay with a woman proposing to you seriously it's like on some genuine like genuine shit like y'all been together for how long or whatever the case is and she gets down on one knee and proposes now i feel like this is one thing that y'all should talk about beforehand most definitely but either way would you be okay with that? Now, women, <laughs> I already know the answer is going to be 90% no, but women, would you ever propose to a man? Ever? Majority, I already know majority of women is going to say no, but just, just just think about it for a little bit. Just think about it for a little bit, okay? Let me know what y'all think, man, down in the comment section below. Like I said in my intro, man, small YouTubers out there, keep the grind up, man. Keep the grind up. This shit don't stop, man. <laughs> this shit don't stop, bro.
keep it up, man. Thank you. Appreciate all the support. We're taking this to the top. Thank you. More videos coming soon, man.